Tennessee Republican Lamar Alexander, one of four GOP senators, weighing the question now of new witness testimony, issuing this statement. I worked with other senators to make sure that we have the right to ask for more documents and witnesses, but there is no need for more evidence to prove something that has already been proven and that does not meet the United States Constitution's high bar for an impeachable offense. House impeachment manager Jerry Nadler saying that that makes no sense. This is a trial. As a trial, as any 10-year-old knows, we should have witnesses. That's why all these distractions. That's why the president's people are telling you to avoid witnesses, because they are afraid of the witnesses. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel is on the Hill with this breaking development. Changes a lot, Mike. No doubt about it, Sandra. Good morning to you. The big break came late night last night when Senator Lamar Alexander said he'd heard enough, saying, quote, our founding documents provide for duly elected presidents who serve with the consent of the governed, not at the pleasure of the United States Congress. Let the people decide. Today, Senate Democrats are frustrated. Lamar's decision, it's an offense against the Senate, it's an offense against the rule of law, and it's, it's, a, it's an offense against the American people. The American people will never know the true facts. The Senate will now have the first ever so-called trial that is a kangaroo court without witnesses and without documents, and it's certainly an insult to the rule of law. Now, the only undecided is Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, who said she wanted more time. But if she wants witnesses, then she would make it a 50-50 tie in the Senate. Texas Senator Ted Cruz told me about some of the conversations he's had with his colleagues. A number of other Republican senators have been trying to make the case to both of them that, that there have been already 17 witnesses who testified the House, actually 18 if you count the inspector general that they didn't send over. There has been more than enough testimony. And the House managers haven't proved their case. They haven't proved a high crime or misdemeanor. One argument against witnesses is it could tie up the United States Senate for weeks. Lead impeachment manager Adam Schiff made this last minute offer. You want the Clinton model? Let's use the Clinton model. Let's take a week. Let's take a week to have a fair trial. You can continue your business. We can get the business of the country done. Is that too much to ask in the name of fairness? Exact timing of when this could all wrap up is unclear. There could be some stall tactics, but leading Republicans insist it will not change the outcome of this trial. Sandra? We will see Mike Emanuel on Capitol Hill. Thank you.